Hundreds of concerned residents turned up at East Palestine High School last night, hoping to get some answers about that train derailment that happened earlier this month. Lucas Tomlinson has more from East Palestine, Ohio. Why is the company not here? Because they're scared for their safety. Hundreds of anxious residents packed a school gym here in East Palestine on Wednesday night, looking for answers almost two weeks after a huge train derailment released hazardous chemicals into their town, contaminating much of the surrounding area. But there were notable absences from the town hall meeting, including the rail operator, Norfolk Southern. We're trying to get information out to our citizens. Everybody's concerned. I'm concerned. But, you know, it's not Norfolk Southern here. It's the EPA. Also not attending, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. The mayor says he's had limited contact with the White House, leaving folks here frustrated, angry, and complaining about a lack of information from the feds and Norfolk Southern. It was just a big runaround. Like, I feel like a lot of the questions that were asked were people's rantings. The answers that were given were things that we've already been told. State officials in the EPA say the water and air are both safe, but residents here tell a different story. They say they've been getting sick and so have their pets, prompting lawmakers and local officials to call for an investigation. This is so much bigger than just it in the water. Our environment, our wildlife animals, our, our farmers that have to till their soil up and do that. The NTSB is now investigating the derailment, focusing on a video showing sparks flying from the wheels more than 20 miles before it derailed. In East Palestine, Ohio, Lucas Tomlinson, Fox News.